know what it is. The name is Lihe, the one and only baby, and you are watching Backstage Pass. So today we're coming to you live and direct from Back to the City 2018, hashtag BTTC 2018. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, so we're standing with Nels. <laughs> okay, so the theme for Back to the City 2018 is freedom of self. Yes. Um, what does that mean to you? Man, freedom of self is, is you know, absolute, you know, uh, freedom into whatever you, you know, it, it is about you, you know, whether you can tell it through your clothes, whether you can tell it through your, you know, your songs or your music, whether you are a painter, whatever that is, that, that kind of art that you have, that you have to like express yourself in. Freedom of self, it's about to know yourself, respect yourself, respect to guys like us men no Ubuntu because Ubuntu Puma. So let us respect ourselves, respect the culture and sing as we go Puma roots I feel like it's by time that we can actually be in a space where we're comfortable and have enough confidence in ourselves to actually be our true selves. Um, do you think uh, you rep a free person? Hell yeah! <laughs> yes, I am free. I say what I want to say, when I want to say it. I do what I want to do, when I want to do it. And you know, I, I inspire the people around me to, to be vocal and free as well. Freedom of self. Yeah, bro. I always care about everyone else around me. I don't think I'm free enough. Nah. Indeed, they don't go me malachi for nothing. <laughs> and it is freedom of self. So why did you guys choose this thing? Because you know, um, we've been fighting for freedom as a nation, as, as a collective, but we, we tend to forget that everyone has their own struggle. So hence the, the freedom of self. You deal with your own struggles, I deal with my own struggles. We, you know, some, some people have land, you know, some people have money, so you, you know yourself what your struggles are, hence our freedom of self. Freedom of self is, it's literally in the title, right? So you as yourself being free, free to think how you want, move how you want, be how you want, live how you want, freely, without any judgment, preconceived connotations, anyone looking at you funny, because your view of freedom may be different from theirs. As long as it's positive and people are allowed to be free, then there it is. Hip hop has always given the youth that freedom to express themselves however they want, and yeah. Do you think you represent a person who's free within himself? Definitely free within myself, not so free within the institutionalized society that we live in. You know, being a female, you have to work twice as hard to have what, half of what they have. And we've come to terms with that. And I think we brought all the guns out as female hip hop artists this year. And people are going to be seeing the best of female hip hop in this country. And uh, I'm a really free person because I'm confident about who I am. I think it's an ongoing journey for me. I won't say I'm totally free, but I mean, the reason I wake up every morning is to continue the fight to actually get to a point where I can say I'm fully free and I can actually just take off, you know what I mean? Um, do you think that you represent someone who's free within himself? Most definitely, I'm the king of R&B right now. Most definitely, 100%. I don't let anybody dictate what kind of music I make. My music is spiritual, my music comes from a special place. So I don't get shifted by society pressures or industry pressures, I just do me. So. That's like I said, liberation at its best. For me, freedom of self means making the most of those opportunities because there are so many people that have laid down their lives for us to have this freedom that we enjoy and so often take for granted. So for me, freedom of self is making the most of every single day because Solana Mandela, baby, what else can you do? So do you think that the OGs have been receptive to the new school cats? I think it's half and half. There's a lot of OGs who are participating 
and then again this could be subjective and then there are some ogs when you're looking from the outside looking in who i feel may not be participating but i i may not know you know there are a lot of ogs who are playing the game behind the scenes so you may never see what they do actually back to the city is the only event that integrates both eras beautifully it's the only event like one guy would be on stage now with the new HDs and the next thing you hear this is the boom bap now on stage and it's still somehow in sync like the synergy is still the same within like the, the the entertainment on stage so I think they did it very well and actually back to the city is the only event that does that beautifully it's not about old or new it's about good music and it's about keeping the culture alive and you have to allow new acts to come in come into the game they're really taking it back to the city and they're making youngsters know that hip-hop is not only from the states or whatever it's also local as well because the artists that come up on stage are rapping for nag they rap in all types of ways and I feel like it's inspiring for the youngsters that are coming up in the music industry, yeah. Right now I can see both. Because so far the music that's playing right now, it has a bit of old school and you know today. But you know, it's, it's times man. Music grows, people grow. So I mean, we, we, we're looking at a new era and I feel like music is growing at a certain extent, at a certain pace. So yeah, we need we need to look out for raw talents. It's so weird how you have a KRS One fan, a Jay Z fan, a Nasty C fan, Casper fan, AKA fan, and it's just like all intertwined, and everybody loves the music. So that clearly means we're going somewhere with the culture, and there's definitely a transition from old to new, and people are accepting it, and we're supporting that. So shout out, people came in numbers, guys. Hip hop is a big deal on the 27th of April, and I think we showed up. They mentioned that Back to the City is coming to an end in 2021, right? So, um, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, they, they mentioned it earlier on today. So it being such a massive movement for hip hop and taking hip hop to the masses. Um, what are your thoughts on having it shut down? Back to the city is Usain Bolt retiring. You get that? Now the kids have to take the baton and create their own events. Will it be at the magnitude of back to the city? Maybe not in the beginning, but we all need to start somewhere. I feel like from here they should make it bigger because I, this is my first time here and this being my first time I was looking forward to being on it a couple of times so I, I just want them to make it bigger I mean it's a dope platform for all of us that are here every organizer or CEO sooner or later got to cut back so it is what it is but I appreciate the movement I appreciate everything they've done I mean all they've done is emphasize the, the movement of hip-hop and R&B to our country whereby it's no longer Kwaito and kids of today have had the chance to express themselves on these stages and you know what I'm saying, show mama that we're not doing just random studio work in a backyard room, but we're actually doing this for the best of hip hop and to develop ourselves. So thank you so much for having a chat with me. Love Face TV, we are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys shouldn't be having such pretty presenters. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are one of the first people to interview me when no one gave a damn about who Rouge was, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>